I wish to speak to those who suffer from some form of mental illness or emotional disorder. In striving for some peace and understanding in these difficult matters, it's crucial to remember that we are living and chose to live in a fallen world where, for divine purposes, our pursuit of godliness will be tested and tried again and again. There was one semester, it's actually fall of 2012, that I experienced pretty, pretty deep depression, and um, it was a really hard time in my life. Um, I grew up with kind of a really difficult childhood. It was just really tough with foster homes and um, death of my parents. So I've experienced different, different low points in my life, and I found that the gospel is one of the only things that has helped to ease the pain and help get through the day. So how do you best respond when mental or emotional challenges confront you or those you love? Above all, never lose faith in your Father in heaven. God's love is there for you whether or not you deserve it. It is simply always there. Advice that I would give to people is to, to be okay with trials, to know that they're going to happen, but also to look forward with an eye of hope and faith. I would say find balance. Find balance in life. Um, study your scriptures every day. Do what you can to strengthen your spirit. I found that one of the the best ways to make yourself happier and to raise your spirits is to reach out and help those people. Reach out and, and do service for other people. Recognize your emotions and to take those for what they are. Um, don't push your emotions away. Don't, don't think you have to be happy all the time because you don't. Ask for and cherish priesthood blessings. Take the sacrament every week and hold fast to the perfecting promises of the atonement of Jesus Christ. Believe in miracles. Hope is never lost. If those miracles do not come soon or fully or seemingly at all, remember the Savior's own anguished example. If the bitter cup does not pass, drink it and be strong, trusting in happier days ahead. You may think at some points that you're the only one going through this and that you're all alone, but you're not. You're never alone, and your Heavenly Father loves you more than you can imagine and just wants you to be happy. But because of prayer, I've been able to draw near to my Heavenly Father, and He's been able to help me climb these hard mountains and go through the valleys. If things continue to be debilitating, seek the advice of reputable people with certified training, professional skills, and good values. Be honest with them about your history and your struggles. Prayerfully and responsibly consider the counsel they give and the solutions they prescribe. Our Father in Heaven expects us to use all the marvelous gifts He has provided in this glorious dispensation. May we live by faith, hold fast to hope, and show compassion one of another. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.